Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Civilization VI. I apologize for not finishing my last Let's Play of, what was it, Arabia, I think we were doing. Uh, but uh, a lot of stuff came up over the last month, month and a half or so. Um, and it just kind of got distracted, a lot of things going on. I actually was sort of homeless for about a month. Um, we sold our old home back in Texas, and then... We weren't able to get into our new home for almost a full month uh, after we had sold our previous home. So it went a little bit longer than we expected. Uh, some of the coronavirus stuff actually affected the timing of us being able to buy a new home. It was We had been planning this for a while, and then it just so happened that the coronavirus stuff came up and just shut everything down. And it really just kind of delayed some of our getting into our home and things like that. So, But here we are. We are in our new home in, uh, in Colorado. Uh, and I just felt, uh, I guess, uh, I felt like we should... Uh, play with some mountains because I've got mountains right outside my window and I get to go see them every morning which is amazing so I figured why not let's play Inca they, they've they got a mountain bias and we can play around with some of the mountains just kind of in honor of the uh of the new arrival in the new home in the new location that we're at so again apologies for the delay uh, I am back though we are ready to rock and roll with some stuff if you uh, can tell I've got some new equipment got a new microphone new camera new lights new green screen new everything just about um, so please let me know if anything just looks off or funny or just is kind of weird and different. So, because uh, I probably won't notice <laughs> right, away, right away. But hopefully this works out. But anyway, let's get into the game and uh, have some fun with the Incas. I haven't played with the Inca before. I don't actually. I don't think I have. I mean, there's aspects of them that seem familiar, but I don't think I've actually played a game of them. Um, but let's just see what, what what's going on with the Incas. Why are they so special? Um, Pachacuti here. Uh, he's got the Chapak Nan. I think is how you say it. Chapak Nan. Don't remember how to pronounce that. I, I think I looked it up once, but now I don't remember. Anyway, so domestic trade routes gain plus one food for every mountain tile in the origin city. Gain the, the improvement when foreign trade civic is discovered. We'll go ahead and skip down to that real quick. That improvement is it unlocks a builder, builder ability to construct a chakpaknyan, however you say it, unique to Pachacuti, acts as a movement portal on a mountain range, allowing units to move into it and exit from another portal at the cost of two movement. Trade routes traveling through it can multiply the gold they get from districts at their destination. You can only build on an adjacent mountain tile, cannot be pillaged or removed. So this is like a kind of like mountain tunnels, but he's just got like a little better better kind of mountain tunnel thing that, that he gets some extra bonuses from. He's also got the Mita. Uh, citizens may work mountain tiles. So that's pretty cool. Get to work mountain tiles. Mountain tiles provide plus two production and plus one food to mountain tiles for every adjacent terrace farms. So that's that's our combo right there. We want to have the terrace farms and the and the mountains kind of as many terrace farms around the mountains as we can because the terrace farms mount the uh, terrace farms make the mountains better and then the mountains make the terrace farms better uh the terrace farm for example is plus one food provides plus one housing for every two terrace farms similar to a farm uh plus one food for every adjacent mountain so again this gets stronger the more mountains you have nearby gain plus two production for each adjacent aqueduct district so that's going to be cool to play around with Receive plus one production if adjacent to freshwater and not an aqueduct district. Additional foods as you advance through the civics and technology tree for adjacency with other terrace farms, etc., etc., etc. So it uh, can be placed on hills. So the terrace farms can only be placed on the hills on like for obviously regular farms. And then we have the Warwick Ak, which is their unique unit. It's a medieval area unit that replaces the skirmisher. So different, uh, stronger at range combat than the skirmisher and plus one additional attack per turn. So unlike the skirmisher, which you're going to be using mostly for scouting and things like that, they're going to be using their Warwick, Warwick Ox, which I think still have only one range, just like a skirmisher. I'd have to double check that. Um, but they, or do skirmishers even have one range? I may be misremembering the skirmishers, but uh, they do have that additional attack return, which is pretty awesome. Actually, let's go check out this, that uh, skirmisher. Um, let's see. I want to go Inca. Uh, here we go. So it has... Well, yeah, well, plus one range. It's, it's only one range, sorry. Uh, 40 range strength, 20 melee strength. Compare that to the skirmisher, which is 30 range strength, 20 melee strength. So it's a little bit stronger. Um, How is the Warwick Ak compared to... Um, we're at 40 range strength. What's the... How about a crossbow? I think crossbow one's 50? No, it's 40. Okay, so... Basically, uh, similar strength as a crossbowman, uh, except that it can only fire one range, and it can, but it can fire twice. So, you know, something to think about. 
Um, plus, once you get the uh, skirmishers and some of the scouts and stuff like that to so some of the higher um, promotions and things like that, they can get really strong. It's a little hard to do, but these guys might be able to do it. So, we are in a really, really good place for uh, terrace farms and things like that because we've got mountains all around. We've got hills all around. We've got a great place for a starting city. We can be able to put another city over here, probably some more cities down here. I think we're in a really good place. I know we can put uh, uh, terrace farms on regular hills and desert hills. Can we put them on um, tundra hills? I actually don't remember. Terrace farm. We can put them on... Nope, grassland plains and deserts. So we got the grasslands. We got a desert one down here we can take advantage of. Um, I don't see any plains ones. There might be, might be some over here. Are these planes? No, those aren't planes. Um, planes would be, what, one food, two production? And I'm not seeing any jump out of me. But anyway, that's okay. Uh, so some of this stuff up here may not be completely useful for us, but we can put some districts and things like that there. And that is not going to be a problem. Should be able to have plenty of food, though. I mean, some of this stuff out this way is not super great, but I'm hoping some of these mountains continue on further down this direction. Uh, we are playing... Excuse me, a little bit of a yawn there. Um, I, we are playing on... Let's see, where am I? Where do I find it? We're playing on a, a obviously daily difficulty. We're playing on standard game speed, a standard size continent map. Uh, other than that, everything else is basically the same. I think I left out the difficulty or the uh, disasters, I should say, to just level two, which is the default, because I was like, Psh, that works for me. Okay, uh, I think we're gonna settle in place. I mean, we're gonna be in a good spot here. Uh, we've got the stone right away to get some production. We've got the wine that we can get pretty quickly. Um, we're gonna be able to put some. Uh, Obviously, some terra farms pretty quickly around here as well. So I think this is a good place to settle in place. Let's go ahead and get that going. And choose our research. We definitely want to get to our um, little tunnel things soon. Because that's in the... I think that's in the uh, civic tree, isn't it? Yep, there it is. It's in the foreign trade, which we've already got the boost for. I, I closed out before I started recording, but we have the boost for foreign trade already. Um... Hmm, so. I mean, obviously something like mining or something like that would be pretty good. Do, uh, when do we get terrace farms? Where are terrace farms? Do we get them right away or do those in the other thing as well? I didn't even pay attention. Uh, joint war, joint ongoing war. I don't remember where the terrace farms are. Or do we have them right away? Um, I guess we have them by right away. Okay, never mind. Cool. Uh, so that is good. I mean, we're going to be putting more terrace farms than mines down, so mining just probably isn't as good. Uh, we do want to probably unlock this wine pretty quickly. Uh, getting the stone wouldn't be too bad. So that would be a reason to come down here and get the quarry. Uh, let's go ahead and just get... Animal husbandry. We're going to need archery pretty quickly. Um, just, just to get some stuff going. Especially if we get some barbarians early on. So let's go ahead and get the uh, animal husbandry going right away. And... I think we're good there. Production. Let's go ahead and knock out a scout. We're going to definitely get, want to get a lot of scouts. Because we want to get our scouts out there. Get them some experience. So that when we turn them into our unique unit. They're pretty strong. Atacama Desert. Hmm. Well, I think we're just coming down this way because we can see a lot already. Why can't we see it so much? Oh, you know what? I think I have an add-on that was showing me extra vision um, because I was using it for some research, and I think I left it on. Uh, I mean, okay, not the end of the world. It's it's a little... Apologies for, for, for breaking that a little bit, um, but um, I don't think it's like it's super end of the world. I'm not going to restart the game because I, th I think I like the start. It's going to be a pretty good start for us. I just, I think I forgot. To, I should have just probably uninstalled that add on. It helps because I was doing like some research on like what kind of starting yields the different tiles had. And obviously I didn't want to have to do this exploration every time I loaded into a city. I'm brand new. I wanted to kind of see what it was up front. Lake Poo Poo. Ew. That's just gross. 
I'm sure that's not how that's pronounced, but it looks like that's how it's pronounced. A little bit of gold. I mean, that's going to help us get some builders out pretty quickly. Once we can get enough for a builder, which would be how much? 200, so yeah, we've got a ways to go. I'm going to start circling you back around. I really want to get... There's Brussels. What kind of stuff does Brussels have for us? 15% production towards wonders. Eh, we might be able to get a few wonders out. Who knows? But I want to circle this warrior back up. Uh, how protected are we from these guys? Not very. He can still get through this gap. So we definitely want to get somebody back up there to help protect us a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send a scout that way just to kind of get some eye on things. I think that's going to be okay. Do I want to get the monument right away? Or do I want to go into something else? I do want to get the builder. I mean, 10 turns on a builder definitely will come out sooner than uh, the builder up here. And getting some of those terrace farms out right away would be pretty useful. Also probably useful to get a slinger out though. Let's get the slinger first. Uh, I, oh my goodness, Germany's close. Oh, and he's settling in some of my mountain areas. That is a close, close Germany. Well then, we might have to uh, have to have some fighting words with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's an honor to meet you. We'll be nice for now. We'll, we'll play nice for the moment, but don't expect it to last. I mean, Germany definitely gets stronger uh, as time goes by. Um, so we'd kind of like to try and knock them out sooner rather than later, I would, I would imagine. No, oh, goody hut. Let's see if we can get over there here in a minute. There are no dogs in heaven. So there's our animal husbandry. I mean, again, the reason we want to go that route is to try and get some archery soonish. Um, probably go ahead and start on archery just to have it ready. Uh, I don't think we're going to try and finish it. I think we'd like to try and finish it with killing something. Uh, you know what? If he attacks me, I don't think we're going to die. So there's Germany right there as well. He is super close and the only reason like if he was over here somewhere I wouldn't care because I just want to hog all the mountains to myself but he's in my mountains seven girls not what I, oh by hello one tile and passable natural wonder provides one faith and one production to adjacent on tiles okay the well there's somewhere for us to settle over here on this side of the mountains at least would give us a little bit of protection from him we can kind of filter him in through a, a funnel um, that would make us too vulnerable We'll just swing over here, keep keep looking around. I actually got a decent amount of Harris score already. I think we'll definitely be in a normal age. I don't know if we'll be able to get a golden age, although if we get our farm out pretty quickly here, that might be doable. Okay, so there's our slinger. Um I think we do want to get a well, I actually think we need to get a settler out as soon as possible. Try and settle some of these spots before he can take them. In fact, I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to go for the settler. we got to be aggressive here. Um, I'm going to swing over here and get the goody hut first. Also, give me time to get my slinger down here. Probably need to circle around here and see what he's got going on. So there's the goody hut. Does get us another recon unit, which again is fine. I'm all okay with some more recon units. All right. Um, I'm gonna move into next to him. Be ready to do something. Let's move it down this way. See what he's got going on. Danube River. So it's not even his capital. His capital's way down here somewhere. Code of Laws, just in time. We do want the extra strength against military, although I would love to get the double experience for recon units. We do have some barbarians in the way right now, so probably start with that, although 
Yeah, I think I just want to knock those guys out. Let's go and get the plus one. Well, no. Let's get some faith in gold in our city. Uh, see if we can get at least a pantheon. Even if we don't get a religion itself, getting at least a pantheon I think is pretty important. Go ahead and knock out foreign trade. Let's get that rolling. I'm okay with taking a little poke here. And we'll let him heal up while we're waiting on our slinger to get down here. Probably use that scout to help attack things a little bit as well. All right. Um, don't think I want to pick another, make another poke just yet. Wait till some of these guys get down here. I am okay with that. Gets us a little bit of XP. Pretty safe overall. All right, let's move you down here to the woods. Keep you safe. If he wants to attack me, I'm all okay with that. Go ahead and heal you back up. We got you a little bit of experience. That's really the main thing there. Uh, archery, we got like one more turn, it looks like. Definitely want to try and get the kill with this guy. Go ahead and swing around here. You're going to be safe. Um, okay, so archery is pretty close. Let's go ahead and swap off archery for the moment. We're going to come up here to... Hmm, I was going to say pottery. Yeah, let's go and knock out pottery. And so you're moving down there. Could take an attack here, but probably a little risky. I'll wait till the slit. Well, I take this attack now, then I can attack again next turn and then kill him with the slinger. That should work. You cannot attack that guy, so we'll just keep your healing. And then you could make this attack, make it even easier for the slinger, but it also get you a little bit of XP. We might do that next turn. We're going to hold off for just a second. So you're, you're just going to be grumpy the whole game. we got to make sure we we got, got to get some military stuff going, obviously. All right, so I think our best bet is to do the attack with the slinger, or, or the scout, I should say. Get him a little bit of XP anyway. And plus that guy was going to probably kill him. This will get this. Gets us the boost to archery. Doesn't actually get us archery. Let's go ahead and get archery out of the way. We're definitely going to want that. Get that. It's going to give us 30 gold. Well, we're a couple gold away from being able to get us a builder. And I think the sooner we get a builder, the better. I'll actually go ahead and take this kill. Gets even more XP right there. I think that was well, well done. I definitely want to get something down here. I shot an arrow into the air. All right. Let's go up here. Um, let's go back to pottery for now. That's going to be good. I guess I'll go ahead and heal you up. And I'll go ahead and heal you up. I'll heal both of you guys up just to make sure you're fine. Let's move you over here, see what's going on over here. Bunch of mountains over here, so I got some more places that we can go to. I mean, if we can get uh, Germany cleared out, I think we have a lot of good spots in, along here, in here. Should probably heal that guy up here in a second as well. Although, honestly, getting some XP, he'll, uh, he'll be able to just get a, a freebie. All right, we are, what, two turns away from a worker? We also got the settler here. I mean, I really do want to settle down here next to these mountains, but the uh, I'm not super happy with the influence negative. I could settle over here on the other side of these mountains. I could also just settle down here. One, two, three. Yeah, it could still give me a spot to settle down here as well. Now, down here, it's going to help me block off this choke point a little bit. Not going to have the greatest... Um, like, it's not going to have really hardly any terrace farms, really, is it? He's still going to have some mountains, though. Just no terrace farms. Wow. But it still helps me give us choke point and a jump-off point for going after Heidelberg and Magdeburg and some of those other ones. keeps him from getting through here I think we got to go for it it's not it's not a great spot it's gonna have some food from that it's gonna have a little bit of gold at least gonna get some food from over there not other this is more of strategic than than useful is kind of what it comes down to I mean I'd like to settle over here and I could 
That could also be a good jumping off point to be fair, but it's also gonna be a little bit hard to get through here until I get some of my tunnels set up. It is a better spot. A little bit of like negative loyalty right away, unfortunately, but it's gonna be a slightly better spot, I think, in general. Could just do this one and that's that's like a third city later on. Yeah, let's just do this one. It's, it's fine. It's a safer bet. It's still going to give me a jumping off point for Heidelberg. And we'll just have to see what happens there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start you scouting again. Just make sure you're still scouting again, because eventually y'all are going to get some XP. Be able to level up that way. Or heal up that way, I should say. About to get me a worker here in one turn. Uh, it's too soon to go ahead and get another settler, I believe. I think at this point we need to just knock out another... Probably another... Let's get the warrior first. Then we'll do a um, an archer. So there's nothing up this way. Swing around this way. Some more mountains down here. Some hills. These are at least desert hills, which means we can build on them. Uh, the uh, terrace farms, that is. All right. Let's move you up this way. Another uh, city state. I mean, I know we have a barbarian encampment over there we have to be careful of. Might be worth doubling up the uh, XP for these guys here in a minute. So there's his capital. Oh, this city's already at the 20 on the strength. Anuk. Oh, Dido. Oh my goodness. Lots of people. Okay. Uh, let's make oh i don't want to send these guys money right now because i just got enough for my my worker and i definitely want my worker builder i should say i need to get some terrace farms and things set up um i think i need to come back up here if i'm gonna go after heidelberg which is not gonna be easy probably gonna have to come at it from this angle he's already getting another city out there's more mountains down that way good to see Are we looking on the uh, error score? We're at 14. That's not too bad, actually. Getting our second city will get us some more stuff. He enforces borders. Great, so that kicked us back out. Literally nothing we can do here. We can go around this way, but... Which I guess is probably the right thing to do. Alright, so builders. Builders, builders, builders. Um... I guess there's nothing, I mean, there's no reason not to do terrace farms. I mean, other than we could do some uh, aqueducts, but the only reason the aqueducts would be good, I guess, is if we, uh, they help the terrace farms if there's no mountains nearby. Or specifically, what is it that says? It says they, uh, where is it? Uh, plus two production for each adjacent aqueduct. Actually, they just, they just help the, give you production just straight up so it's still going to be good to have aqueducts at some point but I think if these hills are next to mountains I want to put the terrace farms I mean this would be a good place for an aqueduct if it was next to my city but it's not this might be a useful place for an aqueduct could still put a terrace farm here but get some good production because this one's going to be next to the river but this terrace farm's not going to be next to any mountains so that might work um I guess you're... I mean, I'd love to go to war and just steal that thing, but... If he leaves it unescorted, <laughs> I might. That would be hilarious. No, he just dropped it right there. I thought Clay must be Never mind. Yeah, these are some good cities that I could take advantage of. He is exploding. Um, we may have to get mining just to get up to bronze where I can start doing some military type stuff. Plus it allows us to hook up our stone. Hello. It's another boost. About to get foreign trade. It's going to allow us to put up our uh, tunnels stuff. It's really not the greatest spot in the world, but I don't want it to be away from the mountains. It's actually going to start taking a little bit of a loss in loyalty right away. 
probably a good reason for us to go ahead and get a, a monument up as quickly as possible. Monument's, what, 240? Let's start working on the monument. Is there a better production we can grab right away? Not really. Well, we can work the... We can work the, hill, the mountain, which will help us get that monument up sooner. All right, let's go ahead and drop you. It's going to be four food. Pretty good food. Some good production as well. Obviously, we should be working that tile. We are. It's one thing for it. Our cities will be getting pretty tall pretty quickly, which is going to help the loyalty issues. Um, I'm just going to put you on Auto Explorer for now. Let you just go do your thing. Aggressive city placements. We are five points away. From a golden age right off the bat. It's pretty good. Every nation lives by exchanging. Alright, go from trade routes, uh, naval unit stuff. We can do our Chopic Nan, whatever. I think that might get us some stuff too. We don't have a ton of barbarians right now. Let's go and do the double XP for that. I still want to get the faith because I would love to get a uh, Pantheon. A little ways away from that. We're already boosted up here to military tradition. We're already boosted for political philosophy. Um, we're going to get craftsmanship pretty quickly here. We actually are going to improve three tiles here in a bit. I think getting a trader up and running is a great idea. Get that rolling. The sooner the better. All right. Um... You could build that. But that allows to connect these a little bit easier. Also connect over there somehow. I don't know if this is actually going to give us a bonus or not, but let's 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 find out. It does. There's four error score right there, so we're just one error score away from a golden age, which is pretty awesome. Um, you're going to move down to here. I mean, taking Heidelberg is not going to be easy. It's 20 strength. It's as much strength as we have in our warriors right now. Plus, it's going to be slow going and stuff. All right, I'm just going to put you on auto explore as well for now. Um... I think putting another terrace farm here is probably the right move. And that'll give us a decent amount of food as well. I need to turn you into an archer here in a minute. Warrior, you can come down to here somewhere. Bunch of wonders getting built. Not a big surprise. Don't know if this counts as a tile improvement or not. I guess we'll find out here in a second. There's a barbarian right there. He's only got one charge left, so that's fine. So that did not count as an improved tile, that uh, tunnel, unfortunately. So we are going to have to do some stuff for that. Hmm. I do want to get you to become an archer. That scout is going to be troublesome, I'm sure. No, oh, go away. He's going to tag me. I don't think he can kill me. Um, he's going to start spawning some units over here, though. So I probably should move you back. Try and go intercept him. Man, Germany is... Go into town over here. So I do have a promotion here, which is awesome. Scooch over here, grab my promotion. We'll say faster movement on kills. Um, I mean, I gotta get another archer rolling out pretty quickly here. I need to get another settler too. Another builder. I need all the things. Let's go archer first. Gotta protect ourselves first. We're not, we're not protected. We're dead. 
Well, I mean, he can come through here and get around me, but I'm going to leave that warrior there for now. You're going to sneak back this way. You're going to try and sneak back over here. I'm going to try and intercept this guy before I can get back to his stuff. Uh, actually, let's go with the faith. A little bit extra faith. Get that sooner. Could be pretty useful. Give me some roads through here as well. I mean, I think in the long term, I'd probably prefer some internal trade routes, but I think this is a good way to get, get a little extra faith coming up. How much do I need now? It's still 25, so that's good. He's he running away pretty quickly. Gonna have, a, gonna have a fight on our hands, that's for sure. Alright, so mining is done. I definitely want to get up to bronze working. Be able to have some spearmen and some just figure out if there's any iron nearby as well. We may need that against Germany. I think it's a given that we are fighting against Germany at some point. Go out of the forge. I still need one more point here. I could be friendly with Germany for a whole hot minute, but is that really what I want to do? I mean, I could try and be friendly with some of you guys, but... Alright, alright, alright. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, there's some uh, horsemen over there. Whale? Um, yeah, I was going to say they're going to be there. Ready to come at us now. Especially with horsemen spawning out. I might be able to defend out here between these two. Like with the hill and putting the warrior here or something like that. I might be able to defend out against them a little bit. I definitely want to get away from that horseman. Um, or at the very least, get into a defensive spot, but... It's possible I can defend out there if I heal up. Alright, so yeah, this is not going to be easy. Definitely want to take out the scout, I think. Especially since I want to be on that hill. I want to fortify here. Hope the horseman attacks me there. I'm a little bit defended. Maybe it'll work out to my benefit. Got another archer coming up here. Really not in a position to go after Germany anytime soon. Ah, see, now they're going to start popping like crazy. Because he already made it back. I mean, I think this warrior is dead at this point. But we'll do the best we can. Alright, holy sites. Faith from adjacent deserts. Is there anything that related to mountains and stuff? Camps, quarries. We do have a quarry, I guess. Mines over luxury bonus resources. Not really anything we have. Strategic resources. Meh, you know, we might have a few. Culture from plantations. Um, I mean, I still really like stuff like fertility rights and things like that. Looks like the one for the settler is already gone. Geothermal fissures. We have a geothermal fissure. No volcanoes nearby, though. I, I attempted to just take the free builder. Because I do have a few things I want to build right now. Get a little bit extra go growth. Sure, why not? We'll go for it. I mean, it's, it's strong front, up front. Maybe not so strong in the long run. But it's definitely going to be strong up front. Uh, I mean, I definitely want to get the quarry set up. Just have credit for that. I mean, at this point, I've just got to try and it out. Maybe I'll get a promotion just in time. 
Same kind of for you. I think you're dead, but we'll do the best we can. Oh, did I get my... I do have my golden age. That is going to be awesome. A couple of people that want to be friends. I could probably be friends with you, and I think that is perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm not going to send you a delegation just yet. I'll wait till we get a little bit more of a cushion of money. I don't really want to be friends okay. with Germany right now, although it I probably should. To be the scar of a meteorite, but it... Where's that at? Oh, way over there. Okay, fair enough. Uh oh, the horsemen. I think this warrior's dead. It's not dead yet. Very, very, very close to being dead, though. Um, this archer's done. We've got a builder. I, we've got to go for the other scout now, right? Not a scout settler, I should say. City needs food. Yeah, of course it does. As soon as I get this thing built up, I'll be able to switch over to some food. Alright, so you... I thought you had a promotion. You apparently do not have a promotion. I did say you have a promotion. Weird. No, because it was still on auto. It's like, what? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to keep you on Alpine as well. Alright, I'm going to have to try and send you over here. Hope that you get there in time to do something. You can actually kill that guy off. This warrior might have a chance. It would be amazing if he had a promotion right now, but... I could back him up. It means he doesn't heal. It does leave this archer kind of vulnerable. Um... I think he's dead, right? I think he's dead. I mean, obviously this guy gets a bunch of my ideal terrain support and stuff like that, but that's not going to matter against the hills. Um, I could back him up to here, only get attacked by one. Well, this guy might still be able to swing around tonight, my, my archer. Also means I do lose my fortification. I mean, I think he's going to heal a little bit, but I think he heals after the barbarians take their move. I think the smart move is to back up and hope the horsemen can't destroy my archer. But they should. I think they can, though. If I move him here, the archer's at least safe. And there's a chance that he can survive. I'm just going to leave him where he's at. I think, he's, I think either he's dead or the archer's dead, no matter what I do. All right, so we got the quarry getting set up. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. Production towards builders. Many Production objects. towards Such units, which is awesome. Uh, might be a great time to go ahead and plug this back in real quick, just to see if I can live on a couple of those battles. Um, I got my Pantheon. I don't care about really anything else at the moment for, for that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and put the production in for all cities. I have killed three barbarians, so I got the bronze working boost. And we'll go and grab our Empire. And I just realized oh, I usually was going to stop at 30 minutes, but we are about eight minutes over that. So we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. When we come back, we will find out if we can survive against these barbarian attacks. That one, uh, I think this one's probably better. Uh, this one's a little bit scary, but we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, I do appreciate you watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.